yes. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes, man. Yeah. Hey, yes, man. Somebody was, we, there was a little bit of office uh, cooler talk. Um, and yeah. Well, somebody, we were talking about how Santa's always peeping on you, watching you when you're sleeping and when you're awake and all that. Yeah. What about, what about you? You do that? I mean, you do realize that's a felony, right? And uh, unlike, no unlike, law against watching, Brian. Unlike, unlike Santa, you're you're an actual uh, uh, citizen of the United States and can be arrested for this. Yeah. Say, uh, uh, yes, man. Do you have a lawyer? I feel like maybe you need a lawyer for this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All okay. right. And, and and you are aware, uh, just so we clear the air here, that uh, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, well, shit. I think you won. <laughs> I got nothing. Any anyway. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh man hey good episode today everybody uh boy howdy huh yeah wow wow that one that one went places it went, that one went places i was not expecting because uh spoiler alert if you happen to only listen to these uh, uh the, the, this full unbroken program pre-show show after show in audio format then i need you to understand that the moment that brian was like oh let's have snowers on the show and we were like oh, okay we'll do it live and then she came in like it was understood that this might go sideways yeah and I, I, first I, thing that happened was what brian uh she froze uh, locked up and began crying. Yeah, oh, <laughs> was... And she, she teared up. Uh, she, she teared she up. Maintained composure. Uh, uh, oh, but, but 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 it was seeing her face on the screen behind us. I think that was a yeah, little too real. Bon Bonnie turned off the program monitor, which I think helped a significant amount. <laughs> yeah. Bonnie was uh, was full on. <laughs> Is she okay? Panicked. No, uh, uh, Bo body was just running in circles. We were oh, like, yeah. like, how do you, how do you turn this thing off? Hey, oh, she's yeah. blocked. She's blocking. She's trying to block the screen. And then, and then, and then, I'm seeing out of the corner. I see Bryce like remote control. She's like, the fuck is a remote control? How do you turn this thing off? Turn it, make it off. <laughs> All the other ones they have like a little like, button in the corner. I know corner. that one doesn't this, have a this button. It's, it's really It's made of comedy killing rays and it's causing her to cry. <laughs> <laughs> turn this thing off. Why? Well, uh, there, there was a moment in which, and look, we have comedians, uh, 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 voice actresses named Tara Strong that come on this show and like uh, have a, have a hard time finding the vibe, right? Like, like it is, it is a, it is a very unique kind of vibe. There's a reason why Ali Spagnola says that our improv style is not yes and, it's no fuck you. Like, yeah. there's just a, a, a thing that we have. And so for somebody that is as young as Penny, and look, she's 14 years old. It's a lot going on, right? As anybody who's been 14 can understand. To walk in, in an outfit, being asked to play a character... And then do it like I can understand the situation, but holy shit, did she fucking crush it? That was amazing. Well, and yeah. there was some moment when um, I, I guess it was that moment that I was just like, hey, kid, you know, I, I told you to, you know, try to not break character because that's funny. But I could tell you're trying too hard to not break character. So, uh, uh, you know, like like. Like once she understood that the game is give answers, yeah. Uh, my God, she started setting fire to that fucking set. She man. was great. That was amazing. <laughs> she was so 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 good, and uh, uh, oh. man, <laughs> that was awesome. 
I was like, I, oh, please don't be a comedian for your life. <laughs> you're, like, you're, like, you're like, did we just give her her first taste of the drug? I know. I <laughs> Look at bad. your father. That's your future. Oh. No. She was almost too good. I was a little worried. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Amazing. Um, <laughs> let's let's take a look at some show titles. How about we do that? And then, and then I have another thing that I meant to get to in the pre-show, but... Fuck it, we'll do it. We'll we'll get it into in the after show. Do it post. We'll do it post. Uh, our top vote is: Do you enjoy slavery? Yep. <laughs> Not doing that one. Uh, Penny used up all the improv in the family. <laughs> uh, North Pole whistle snowers <laughs> instead of whistleblowers. The island of that's pretty good. I Gamblers. like that one. Chris Kringle and ready to mingle. <laughs> uh, North Pole fulfillment center. Snow snowers lawyers up. Santa client privilege. Santa is client good. privilege is pretty good. Uh, Santa and his red stained mouth area. <laughs> Group therapy, family style, stolen candy and cigarettes. Uh, ooh, what happened there? Uh, final, final, final for real. Me too, Santa. Hashtag me too. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see, swole Santa. I don't think they last years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Santa is no saint. I'm gonna. I like that one too. Uh, Rasta Claus, Frosty the Pimp. Thirty yards of kielbasa is just a great <laughs> 30 title. Thirty yards of kielbasa, <laughs> fucking That's amazing. Brown Christmas, Snowers and Santa. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> do you have anything to plug? <laughs> oh my god! Yes. <laughs> I never watched it. Dropship Santa is pretty good. That that would be the good name of a of a Christmas movie. Snowy Leaks is good. <laughs> Snowy Leaks. <laughs> uh, well, here uh, because I know she's almost certainly still awake. I want to go check in and make sure Penny's cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. With everything. <laughs> Did she seem okay, Bonnie? Oh yeah. Totally. Oh good. Yeah, yeah. Good good good. <laughs> Might be Lene. <laughs> Might be Lene. <laughs> See. All right, let's get this up and see what, what is it? we got. Uh, Santa, Pri Santa, Santa client privilege is pretty good. And I think that that's uh, uh, to me. It is either Santa client privilege or North Pole whistle snowers. Uh, uh, just something that that says Christmas. Okay. Like I think that that's important for the Christmas episode. Yeah, we'll do we'll do Santa client privilege. Um, so I'm gonna try to talk to you and uh, uh, well, write look. an email. Folks, uh, how about I go in a little uh, monologue about the spirit of Christmas, ladies oh. and gentlemen? Okay. Uh, well, 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 well. Bryce writes an email. I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, Christmas in in uh, my household, and uh, I hope in yours. You know, Christmas. What does it really mean, anyway? Bunch of Christ. Is he putting on mass? Is he working out? I mean, he was kind of fit, but more of a swimmer's body. He wasn't exactly a bodybuilder. Where were the lats? Where were the delts? Where were the tries? Did Jesus have traps? <laughs> I don't think so. Too busy with those loaves and fish. Not exactly clean eating, Jesus. Hey, here on this Christmas, I say that you put on a little mass. Why don't you go ahead to the gym? Bust out some PRs on the reg. Make sure that you have those gains. You, had to, you don't have to be a Floridian to go to Gainesville. Here, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt this very important story. Uh, we have a we yeah. have a, a, a special interview. Uh, 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 totally separate person, Penelope Brushwood, is going to join you. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Penelope Brushwood, please give her a round of applause. Penny, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> it, it is. It has been a while since uh, I've talked to you. I had talked to Snowers earlier, who, who bears a striking resemblance, but. But uh, uh, it's been been a while. So we were we were talking. Oh, here, here, I'll I'll I'll, I'll be off mic, Bry. Uh, so uh, I was asking Penny uh, if everything was okay, and and you were describing it as there's just that one moment of like, oh crap, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just couldn't think of anything. <laughs> Uh, man, once you got over that hump, girl, that was amazing. Though you were you were busting out some uh, uh, some <laughs> some surprise curveballs. It was pretty great. <laughs> Thanks. Well, and also look, uh, uh, Penny, 
that is literally the definition of performing is is that moment that 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 moment that you got over uh, and the idea that you got over it that's that's the one thing you can't teach like either you are going to give into that moment or you're going to get over it and and man when when you went from that moment to do you are you okay with slavery? Like that was it. It was it was a carpet bomb throughout the entire the entire crowd. It was it was amazing. Uh yeah, man. Zero to slavery in ten seconds was quite a quite a feat. <laughs> I, I don't know that we've ever done that on the show before. Which you would think, you'd think <laughs> trending wise. <laughs> but <laughs> knowing this show, yeah. Uh so uh uh uh, uh, thank you very much for for doing that. Um, do, do we do we keep you up all night on Tuesdays, or you're already up anyway? I'm already up anyway. Okay. Uh, can you can you lie to me and tell me that you don't actually hear any of the words that we say <laughs> oh over my here? Goodness. I don't. Well, honestly, I don't pay attention to the words you say over here. Oh, oh thank goodness. Dear. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> but please let me believe that forever. <laughs> I don't have an air horn, but I'll give you this. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Uh, well, so so do you have any do you have any do you have any thoughts about the experience of because uh, because I realized you know traditionally what we always did is like I would record thirty minutes of just chatting with you and then I would cheat and take things out of context and uh, yeah <laughs> and and give have you giving answers to different questions and so on and since uh we didn't have time to do that we just we just sort of rolled the dice on doing it live um how, how did you feel because i threw a lot at you to have you play a character and improv with no script on a live show in front of everyone uh it was a lot uh i uh i hope it wasn't too much uh, not after the first two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Did, it, at what point did it start feeling good? <laughs> when it went to slavery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's when you suddenly discovered the bit and the character. <laughs> uh, I liked. I liked the. That was that was the, that was the weirdest thing because you walked in with like this like full. You had the whole character going. You were like the jaded elf, and then there was like that one moment of like of of of, of hesitation, and then you immediately went right into it. It was like it was like like, like burping before dinner. Like you were just like you were just right in. <laughs> Uh, I I that was an awkward metaphor. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, I did rather like the uh, the underground gambling <laughs> with the elves. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's a hell of a of a, of a, a back lore that you were uh, you were sketching out. I feel I feel like you uh, you would eventually have gotten to like Elf Hunger Games and uh, <laughs> Elf 1984. Uh, what, what, you got anything? What, what do you want to talk about? What are you into these days? A lot of the time, it's spent drawing and role playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Are, are you still are you still playing D and uh, D uh, with your friends? Uh, yeah, I go to the meetings at lunch with at school. And and uh, so, how many days a week are are you playing? Uh, it's Thursdays, and whenever the very sporadic other student-led groups decide to meet. <laughs> ah, so one one's got like a so an adult crack in the whip to, yeah, to make sure everything keeps on going. Uh, so uh, what are all what are all the other kids at school into that you uh, is not your bag? I don't talk to anyone else at school. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I go to private school and. It's never required for me to talk to anyone. So <laughs> yeah. bodies pull or J Penny's but, but, pulled but, out the I mean, contract. Penny, Penny, you're, you, you're a very perceptive person. Like, like, do you do you pick up on things that are popular that are just not in your bag? Last couple of days, there's been like a consistent thing of people playing Smash in the corner on a big on like someone set up a monitor and like they brought in this old Nintendo console with like the first Smash and everyone was like, how old is it? What shape is it? It's like uh, it's the gray one, right? It's it's gray it's and it's so got like the three handles on it. I don't um, know. There's like the they got the big controllers and you go doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. and there's like the cartridges are like this big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a sixty four. N sixty four. I think that's it. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm feeling well, weird I'm gonna new go, things. I'm going to go evaporate into <laughs> dust, so uh, <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> so are you saying you don't feel so good? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah exactly. Oh, my God, I'm getting burned by... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so so, uh, what 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 have you been playing? Because uh, you're playing on on the Switch, right? You're playing like Breath of the Wild. Oh, uh, like I played like ten minutes of that, and the or not ten minutes. Like I got past the tutorial, and then I got into it like a little bit, and I was distracted because I'm so bad at it, and I kept dying. I just wanted to hit stuff with the sword. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, outside of it being murder. I, I I will say that that tutorial on Breath of the Wild is a little. It's long. Like yeah, I mean like like it's a little too expansive to like get the handle of the world. Like I think it's like it's there for people who understand open world games a little bit more. Because I'm like you, Benny. Like I was not a fan of that genre, and there was a lot of like well, I gotta jump over these pillars for like ten minutes. This whole thing gonna be about jumping over pillars. <laughs> We uh oh, oh you know what was fun is I, I took Penny to uh, pinballs uh, a couple oh, of weeks nice. ago and so uh, like I had to explain uh, what a pinball machine was <laughs> and then she was like oh I've played a video game based on that concept no I think it was like I think it was at Josie's band thing and they had that table there and I was bored so I was just like guess I'm doing this now well so uh, like all, of the stuff at pinballs because you know that you got this this amazing uh, collection of retro arcades and, mm -hmm. and pinball games uh, was there one that stuck out that you dug a lot um there's that Really cool one where it's like the curved thing and the magnets. Oh yeah, dude, have you seen this? Uh, there, 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 there's a pinball game. Uh, it's it's like uh, I don't know Gravitron or something like that. But it's like uh, uh, it's like Mars. Or it, 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 it's it's got a bunch of magnets and and like a bowl shaped I think bottom. It was the bottom. orbiter or something. Uh, yeah, or orb orbitum. Uh, it, it would be a pinball game. Would definitely be. It was pinball. Yeah, it was definitely yeah. pinball. Okay, but but it was wild because like it would go past the flippers, and if you were smart, you would just wait for it to roll around the event horizon and come back out on the other side. It it was it was uh, Kookaburra. Hmm. Uh, I bet I bet Dead Flip would know all about it. Uh. There was a Shrek pinball machine, which is great. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, can you explain to me uh, the the meme fascination with 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 Shrek? It's just oh, so people have layers. Oh, you can't point on that screen. That's the one you have on. This one, okay, it is Orbitor One. Orbiter One. See if you can find video of this thing in action. This thing was a trip. It was it was weird. But uh, uh, why is everybody infatuated with 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 Shrek? I don't know. It's just a whole thing of the internet now. There was this thing that came out like a couple of weeks ago, Shrek Retold, where like a whole bunch of people remade the entire movie. Mm. Like they split it up into parts. Yeah. And each person would get a couple oh, minutes. Oh, that each time. person animated a, their own little bit. <laughs> yeah, I've seen stuff like that. I mean, Shrek is pervasive, right? Like when did when did Shrek the first Shrek movie? First Shrek. Yeah, Shrek is uh, 2001. 2001, uh, that's six, right. Says. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's a pervasive. Okay, we've got, I think we've got some footage here of this pinball machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This thing's wacky. Yeah. <laughs> and it gives you like a million extra balls. Too. Oh, yeah. There's definitely like some magnetic stuff messing with the trajectory of the ball. That's cool. Yeah, so it, it keeps looking like it's going to stay in, in, you know, the well, but then it just magnets out and freaks out on you. That's pretty cool. And see, it goes around the ah, back. Right, oh, but then it goes back. Oh, huh. Yeah, like you can <coughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, that voice. Yeah, those sounds never get old. Yeah, for never. For minutes and minutes and minutes. Yeah, uh, uh. This is a really cool concept that pleases literally nobody. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's it, like, 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 like hardcore pinball people don't like it because it's not reliable. Right. Uh, ball is, is, is enjoyed by its hardcores because it is not a game of chance. It is a game of skill. Mm. And it does not please average players because it is 
just a yet more confusing way to lose money. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. It's, it's sort of like a nonsense engine of, of pinball. Well, and imagine having to repair it and and there being a, mag a magnets element of like, oh, yeah. this magnet's out of position. And I got to order so the magnet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that Joey P? Uh, the P stands for it pinball? Me, pinball fixer extraordinaire, Joey P. Joey P. Hey, hey, sorry, I'm just here trying to fix these magnets. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out also how to do this character without <laughs> using my reliable crutches of vulgarity and weird metaphors. <laughs> Ah, it sounds like you're going through a real existential crisis, Joey. Yeah, you know, Joey P's going through a lot. There's some changing, shifting elements to the ways that Joey P uh, operates. Anyway, where are these F-wording magnets? <laughs> Uh, it's funny because I was I was just like, wow, I guess uh, he sounds so weird, and it's not the voice. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> uh, all right, Penny, you, you ready to go to bed? Uh, okay, sure. you you ready to leave this room? Yes. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, back. Penny Brushwood. Happy gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Oh. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Or hey! Enjoy your winter. <laughs> Enjoy winter, <laughs> says Penny. <laughs> Oh, that was nice. That was sweet. <laughs> that was very nice. Oh man. Oh, you got a little. Uh, gotta, gotta, gotta get that out before. Uh, got a little, got a little foreshadowing here. Got some, you got some here. mise en scene. And... Uh, wait, what, what, what just happened? A little, a little foreground with your mic. Wait, well, sorry, what? Uh, your your mic. You left your mic in the foreground. You left it kind of right in front of me. Oh, oh got it. Yeah, I thought you meant this mic. No. Uh, hey, uh, uh, I was approached by an anonymous person. Mm. Uh, within the past week, who is a writer, and she is very interested in writing fan fiction of the Night Attack universe. Yes. And was asking for inside jokes and references, and, and if anybody had any potential ideas that they might be interested in. Did you just in like sharing. send her DIAF? We made like a whole audiobook. Well, she, she, she's, uh, she's got a history knowing the show, so she, she, she knows that stuff exists, but. Uh, uh, she asked for uh, uh, an opportunity for people to input ideas, so I've got I got a link in the chat right there uh, of a of a Google Doc that I will share with her. Uh, of uh, if you have any ideas for what uh, sort of situations, scenarios, ideas, concepts, whatever, uh, feel free to post them there, uh, and we'll see uh, we'll see what we go. It, it, <laughs> Renegu <laughs> wants B plus J slash fake. <laughs> I that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> that's the plan. Uh, so there you go. I'm, I'll post it one more time in the in the, in the chat. Um, and uh, uh, if you're listening to this after the fact, I'll uh, I'll post it in the Discord nightattack.tv/discord, and I may tweet it out at Night Attack Show. So um, she sounds so much like Bonnie now. Oh yeah. Now we here we gotta whisper, Bonnie. Do I get on mic? So you guys are okay, but also like uh, I know I'm not supposed to say that, but with this with that haircut, she looks so much like Bonnie now. Well, no, she still looks like Penny to me. Like like there 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 is there is a specific. She has that 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 brushwood look to her, so she doesn't look exactly like Bonnie, but she sounds so much like Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie's grimacing the whole time. Bon bon Bonnie's in pain. Oh, <laughs> no, no. It's like, I don't know. I, I always was so self-conscious about all those things. And then I see her and I'm like, why It's adorable. Was, why was I ever self-conscious? Like, she's amazing. <laughs> So uh, it's hard to have that amazing. outside perspective as yeah. a kid, though. No, you, she it's is the wide open West when you're a kid, and it's 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 yeah. even hard to like if if you were to be like, oh well, you know, you remind me of me growing up, and I think that you're in a really good spot. It's not it's 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 hard to gauge the world on that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and it's also it, it's from from my perspective, I'm just somebody that's kind of like dipped in periodically, right? Like I, I've just like observed at like regular intervals, the way that somebody who would like, you know, uh, 
I was gonna say like bird hunting or something, right? But like, I, I, I think of it like a like a, a stone skipping across water, right? Where it's sure, just like, hey, exactly. we're here, we're here, we're here. And it's like it's it's hard to kind of divorce some of your own like thoughts, like because you never know what kids are gonna be, right? Like you you see a kid doing a thing when they were a kid, and you're like, oh well, obviously they're gonna be blank, right? But you never really know. Uh, like this is now the moment. Now what you're seeing is really more like indicative of who she'll be at 28 than she was when she was eight doing something right mm. uh but holy moly was she funny and really <laughs> fat. yeah man and uh, uh what's funny is a lot of kids placed in that situation would be tempted to just fill the air you know and mm -hmm. and and punch out um like uh you know Josie is uh very good interpersonally like she can't handle that dead air and will will fill it with just whatever like she'd rather not be funny and keep things al afloat whereas yeah. Penny was like was just like no 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 it's here it's here hold on it's here it's going to be eh, eh. and then she just punches <laughs> and it goes straight to the moon well because and i think that that a lot of it like like that that D, D element was like she just she was not into performance she was into D. &D. she was into writing like, the, the story and it was like oh if i just have to be a D, &D character i can be a great D, D character like just ask my D, &D character questions and and she can answer that if it's like, and now, meh, then she's like, whoa, don't like that. I like four friends sitting around a table and my character talking. And when it was there, holy moly. Uh, for me, I keep saying holy moly because I, I am afraid that she's just going to like walk in. There's been too much uh, 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 exposure to people that I don't want to yell obscenities in front of for me. <laughs> uh uh, so watching her get into character, I was just like, man, she's kind of professional. Like adults don't even do this well, <laughs> you know. Oh, you're talking about outside, outside the door, like when she's you're, like she's sitting, she's loosening it up, she's 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 puffing on a a, a, a candy cane. Yeah, <laughs> she's thinking her darkest, bitterest thoughts. Yeah. Oh, this is no, you have to. I mean, like, up. look, if if she's cool with it, there was a moment before the show. When I thought you had sent it to Bryce, but I guess it was just to me and Bob. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it was just that. you guys. But that, uh, uh, there is a picture of Penny as Snow as the Jaded Elf that is like fucking like Bob Dylan. Like there's <laughs> just like a devil may care attitude to that girl that is like amazing. And I'm like, oh, like this isn't just like because before it was it was. Let's be honest. It was a little bit of like, you know, uh, 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 you know, bring your daughter to work day. Yeah, with sure. Right, for right. Out stuff, right? It was a little bit of like, hey, uh, come and be a part of daddy's thing. It can be a fun thing. I see that picture and I'm like, whoa, like <laughs> the goddamn pro rolling in. So uh, but her best line was outside when when I said, uh. Uh, I said something about her outfit, and she goes, "You know, these don't have any pockets." She goes, "It's because Santa's Santa doesn't want us to smuggle any toys out." <laughs> out <of> the <laughs> That's why you were asking me to yeah, mention that. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. So, like, she but it, already it moved beyond. Yeah, like it, it, it went to a different direction. Like I didn't know how to set that up, but usually, yeah, they were like, <laughs> "Oh, by yeah. the way, no, no, Re Renegu has a great." A great point. A awesome birthday gift, uh, specifically uh, if she keeps doing the D and D stuff, is to get one of these uh, voice modulators that she can just like plug into a speaker oh. and just have like different voices. At D and D. Like that. At oh, D and D. That's yeah. brilliant. That's great. Well, if you're listening on Twitch for some reason, Penny, that's not what your parents are going to get you for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Now, there's like a and a, a d, d board game. Is that any good? Does anybody play that? A, oh, wait. A, it's separate from the tabletop game? Well, no, I get that's what I mean. Like yeah. a, well, it's like a board game version of it, though. I mean, look, like, oh, like that would I be see. like playing like SNL, the board game. Like they're just like two different kinds of things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so like one is just act 
interesting. Yeah, I see, I see a couple of things here. Dungeons and Dragons, Castle, yeah. Ravenloft. to play a board game. I mean, if you're going to play a, a, a board game in that space, uh, I'd, I'd go find, like, Talisman or something. Something yeah. from Games Workshop. I just wondered if it, it had some of the elements and it would be something that... Oh, sure. Be... Look, I mean, like, the most popular form of, like, hardcore board gaming is D&D-esque in that you have to make a million different decisions and they all matter and some matter permanently mm -hmm. right like like that is the point of the game is your decisions are creating the consequences of the universe mm -hmm. uh but you know it's still not D D. D D is right. just D D, right like like it is it is setting the rules of a universe and then having you play within it based within a dungeon master's kind of like parameters Mm -hmm. So Penny has always liked those kind of games that have the storytelling to it. And then I remember Veronica Belmont was in town for some reason. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we played like a, a Warriors cat version. It was amazing. Yeah, it was <laughs> uh, a role playing game based on the Warriors uh, cat books. <laughs> and yeah. We got as far as almost making our character sheets. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then the evening was over. <laughs> it's time for bed, everybody. But uh, uh, Veronica was amazing, though. She was super cute planning out her her cat. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, can you cover for me, Bonnie? I have to run to the restroom. Oh, sure. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah. Hi, everybody. No, 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 Bonnie, come on camera. Oh, sure. I don't look great, but... Oh, you look, you look great. great. You look Come just on. like that penny. I know you might be uh, intimidated by my very fuckable hair by way of that uh, that email. Ooh. <laughs> this is this is fuckable hair too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will say this. Everybody on this show, great hair. Great just hair. Luscious. Not today. Fantastic. Today oh. I rolled out. I put my workout clothes on. And then I remembered it was my six-year-old's birthday. And I was like, oh, fuck, I gotta get those cupcakes up to the school. Yay! Oh. So, you know, I'm all like in workout clothes eating a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> why are there only 11? No. <laughs> no, that's that's why they have a good. baker's dozen. That's yeah, right. yeah. Awesome. One on the way. Oh, but this is the first child that I've got. I, I, I got to get like the store bought ones because they didn't have any allergies. Oh. So like nobody in Kelly's class has allergies and she doesn't hey. have allergies. So that's great. I was just able to like buy them. Yeah. Six dollar sheet cake. Oh. Just bring it on. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it's like literally, so like amazing. as soon as I run it straight off some factory line where they're also <laughs> just like shooting off peanut cannons. And... Yeah, they're like. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it turned out pretty good. And I mean, our, our little local place is pretty good. We have, I mean, mm -hmm. tastes better than. You know all the, the allergy-free ones. Allergy-free ones. Uh, so. I, uh, uh, David, uh, we were we were finishing some shoot up in the warehouse, and and David had let us know that there were cookies in the fridge. I oh, guess, I guess a neighbor for where the where they work out. Oh yeah, yeah. Had stopped by and dropped some stuff off, and I was like, I'm down for cookies. Yeah. And and I took one, and I took a look at it. Oh, this is a. Gluten free. It's a gluten free, no allergies, yeah. no riser, lump ball of a cookie. Oh, no. I, I picked some. I was really excited. The people that were there before them have a, a, a what is it? A, a Better Bites Bakery. And they mm. did really well. Their, their stuff is fluffy. Like it's, it's delicious. Oh, and yeah. I would feed that to anybody. But. Man, this these people Sometimes. that came in next is just like a brick. I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, you guys got to work on that a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's well, it's tough because like, you know, clearly people have dietary you know restrictions, mm -hmm. and you still want them to have good food. Yeah, and it's it, and it's difficult to replace you know some of those core ingredients. Yeah, uh, and it takes experience to probably figure out solid replacements and good ways to make that stuff yeah taste yeah they're working on it yeah <laughs> um i i i very politely finished eating it but oh uh, but yeah. that was what that was oh were you like kind of half like 
No. <laughs> it wasn't We're... that bad. It just. <laughs> No, it was it was good, and I was mostly alone. It's so great. It it's well. great. It's got That's sugar. That's the best. When, 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 when you have to say it's great when you're also <laughs> half choking on it, like, it's, well, it's great. It, it's oh, hard. God, I can taste it real well. It's, har- it's hard to take out all the top allergens. Right. Like, you can take out half, and then you take out the or the no, other that, half, that's how, but like, taking so them all out is really. I, I, I will out and out vouch for like vegan food that Ashley makes that a lot of the places that we go uh, Mm -hmm. are made. What I will not vouch for is if you take gluten, like there are gluten free vegans that like, I swear to God, just drink paint. Like there's no, there's no point. Like, why are you even eating food? Like you've taken out every element that's going to make it taste okay or give it any kind of consistency. Like (laughs) all the best vegan food is gluten enriched. It is it is gluten centric. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's tough, man. Yeah, the uh, um, uh, the gluten stuff. Like, you just can't have a donut. You know, just give up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I know. It's... Just understand Donuts that no, that there are some difficult. things that depend on certain elements. Yeah, and that's that's, a, that's always what I even say about the vegan stuff is that it's like mm-hmm. stop trying to make a steak. You're never gonna make right, a steak. right. Like, like uh, unless, unless you do some lab-grown, sure. like stuff, and that that evolves to a certain point where you can actually make a steak without killing a cow. Like, you're never going to make it out of some other random shit. Like, mm-hmm. just make other things that also taste good that are unique to this variety. Right. Grow a new food genre. So you're not gonna have gluten-free donuts. Yeah, I would like to see what someone tries with a gluten-free donut. But I'm sure it would end up being like, like a triangle or some weird shit. <laughs> no, so yeah. <laughs> like, like it comes we, out a trapezoid. Like it comes out. Oh, it's like it's, actually, it's, it's got hard edges, hard corners. <laughs> it, it, it's circa a 1996 mouse. Oh, yeah. with, like, <laughs> c- complete with a comp you serve a uh, 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 mouse pad. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so you take it out and you like bite into this gluten free donut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Experiment. Oops! The bowl fell out. <laughs> and it and it cuts your mouth. You're like, wait, these yeah. are supposed to be soft. And you, squishy. you bite it and you have to to it's pop the ball out the bottom. Plastic. Clean the little the little wheels on the inside. Yeah. Oh, oh goodness. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> No, actually, we have a, a place, but here's the thing is you can't take all of the allergens out. So yeah. they took part of them. They took gluten, and then they took, like, eggs out also. So they were yeah. vegan, whatever. But uh, they were really good. And um, But but she was just a part-timer. I don't know. Like, I was just like, man, these are yeah, awesome. I mean, like, uh, uh, mm-hmm. Low-key vegan sweets are probably the most passable element of vegan food for omnivore food as an omnivore like like that like there's been plenty of times that i've eaten good vegan pastry that i've been like i would not know the difference between this and another now is it like the best v the best pastry that i've ever had in my life uh, probably not but it's good right. really good right. Amateur. Amateur. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the invisible husband, Brian. Yeah, Brooks. yeah no, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Holy shit. And also, by the way, you know it's a celebratory night when not only has Brian returned, but he didn't take his spot on camera and handed Bonnie a full glass of wine. <laughs> like, or, like, this is around the time in the after show that Brian's like, ah, man, you know, I got some, I got a lot of shit to do tomorrow. I got to be up at like 11 uh, earlier. Like, you know, I got to, anyway, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> you, guys, you guys, you guys are doing a uh, victory lap here tonight. It's a life swap. Yeah. The life yeah. swap. <laughs> oh, you said life swap. Well, okay. I said life swap the first oh, time. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so I got a message. Uh, I, Bonnie, I think you heard w- oh. we had someone interested in writing some fiction. Oh, yeah, yeah, I them. heard that. I was, I was asked if you would be interested in being a non-sexual character in the story, if you are okay with being included in the story yeah. as a non-erotic participant. <laughs> 
I don't know. I'm kind of offended that I wouldn't be. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Well, if you're if the, <laughs> careful what you wish. I mean, they were just they look at hold on. on. Based on where based on where Bryce has already hinted on this, you know where the sex is going to happen. Uh, I've been told she can In be erotic butt. if she wants. <laughs> she can be erotic if she likes. No, no, no. Uh, that's okay. okay. I just want to know that I could be erotic <laughs> if I wanted to. There's like. gonna be a line where it's like, "Hey, Bonnie, you want?" In on this? <laughs> yeah, no, like, I'm good over I here. I could, but no. <laughs> I guess I missed the part. Like I was seeing in chat, like you guys hook up apparently, or no, I don't <laughs> know the thing. Or well, we'll uh, see. We'll see what unfolds, huh? I'll post right. the link again. Unfolds as erotic Brian's as she butt. wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> unfolds, Brian. Butt. I, I, I'm actually uh, curious to see who unfolds first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh gosh. my goodness. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, did, did, oh. did you guys see this glitter thing? I saw people oh, talking yes. about it, but I did not actually look at it. Uh, it's it's a great prank. It's well executed. Mark Rober is a great guy. Um, I uh, We've only talked on the phone like four or five times, but we have each other's number, and we, we speak regularly hmm. uh, enough. But, uh, but... Uh, but 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 uh, my TV producer Spidey senses uh, and my magician senses, who boy is is uh, is is that oh. just a little bit too perfect? You think it's faked? Um, Possibly. Uh, I, I I don't even I, I know enough about production to know that 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 that's the f word everybody likes to say, but almost always there's more to it than that. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like those could be real reenactments. No, or 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 right. real or like, um, people who don't know what they're a part of, but they've just been told to oh. go get a package. Oh yeah, and they're being so portrayed in, yeah, as in, thieves. In, 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 in reality television, it's called soft casting. Mm. Soft casting is when you say, "All right, you're going to be on a reality show." So I'm going to use an example, uh, uh, totally made up. Although this never actually aired, so Wait. I could probably say it. Oh, uh, okay. There was a scene in where, uh, in which uh, somebody was going to come to a uh, park their car, right, and then uh, have uh, they knew they were on a reality show, and so they're going to go wait somewhere. They were going to sign a waiver, and then they knew that part of what they wanted uh, from the reality show was to walk back to their car. And that was it. Now, they didn't know that the entire setup was that a magician was going to meet them in front of their car, talk to them, and then make their car disappear. And so they were casted as people that would be excited, that would be excitable, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that was that, right? So it's like well, and, you and are specifically... telling somebody that something is going to happen – but they don't know what it is. And and that's important for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, 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 from a sanitation standpoint, you want to have them already pre-released so that they have no expectation of not being on camera and no expectation that that they that their likeness can be used on a for-profit venture, et cetera, et cetera. Like that, that, that's super, super important. Uh, now, on the flip side, anybody who's saying their acting is so bad, uh, they're definitely almost never – acting because right. uh, because you you can't uh we've seen what it looks like when magicians and uh, pranksters try to have people fake reactions uh yeah. and and you you get uh, uh, uh mind freak uh and it's it's Boom. it's transparent what? and what oh my god what <laughs> what <laughs> what uh, and and so they had to shoot a lot of episodes in Mind Freaks. In Mind Freaks' defense, they had to shoot so many episodes in so little time, and they had no idea how to do it. Well, and and also uh... the budgets were super super tight. I mean, there there's yeah. a uh, look. I I can't even pretend that I would do it different than Chris. And Angel also, decided there's to do like it. 14 people in Las Vegas. Everyone thinks that Las Vegas is yeah. a big town. It's like 17 <sighs> people wide. Um, right. Do you know uh, the news? Is out and the I number. I that's fake. <laughs> well, hold on. Are we bailing on this or? No, I, it's tied in. Oh, okay. Uh, the number one city for uh, getting your packages lifted off your porch is Austin. 
Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, had, we had a package snatcher uh, here in our here in our town. Yeah. yeah the, the other thing that tickles my spidey senses is um, people who are really stealing stuff um, probably don't open what's clearly labeled as uh, a Apple AirPod in their car. And, uh, they and probably... most stuff will be packaged in a box, not just a bare Apple HomePod box. Now, right. now, now I again, think. like I, if I was going to guess, uh, I, I would say that that the reactions are authentic. But like you said, they were they were soft cast, and they were just they, they were people who were given a job, or or maybe mm-hmm. even told that they're, hey, I need you to steal this package. Uh, it's from my ex boyfriend or whatever. Uh, it's totally legit. Uh, just you know, he it got shipped to my old ex or to my ex boyfriend's house. Uh, will, will you just go get it? It's mine. Uh, uh, please go swipe it for me, and then you know stuff can happen. Yeah. Well, um, in our neighborhood, the uh, we had we had this problem last year with people in our neighborhood getting their packages stolen, and then they put in a new camera at the gate or whatever and then uh, uh so somebody's ring on their on their porch captured an image and then they caught the guy's license plate well they finally found the guy he had 300 packages in Ugh. his car so Goodness. like can you imagine and that's like a felony though like right? yeah so that's that's Damn not point. just like stealing something well, that's spe- that's yeah. a that's a you know, U.S. That'd be, that'd be one of those things where in Texas, like, they go to jail and then somebody's flipping some old dusty book and they're like, oh, uh, mm-hmm. we have to stab mm-hmm. you in the urethra. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It was just some shit that got written up like 150 years all, ago. All, That's what they also, stab you right in there. I'm sorry. Sorry it's, about it. It's the law. This it's book is telling me I got to do it. So pants down. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, some people in the chat are trying to miscategorize me as saying the video is fake. I mean, nothing's fake. The device is real. The mm-hmm. the gizmo's real. The people are real human beings. You know, are they are they uh, thieves who all happen to be caught in the act? Like, there's so many package thieves. Like, well, well, here, let, that, me, let that, me let me let me put it this way, Brian. Uh, what, what 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 what's the Darren Brown special with the bank robbery? Uh, uh the heist, I believe. The mm-hmm. heist. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite, if not my favorite paced and artistically directed magic specials of all time is the heist right Mm -hmm. it is darren brown i think at his best doing a theatrical uh a mentalism routine for an hour in a way that most mentalism routines kind of are boring by like a few minutes in right by the time that you finish watching the heist it does not matter whether or not they are all plants they could very well be all plants, but yet the emotional journey that you have gone through throughout all of it is worthwhile entertainment. And it is even more worthwhile that I am asking this question to everybody that they are plants. The idea of, of, of even talking about it is entertainment. So the, the, the point is not whether or not we should shame this because, oh, like this is either staged or not. It is obviously the the viral video of the Christmas season. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should all enjoy it because it taps into an element that we are all sensitive to, the idea that we would have a literal Grinch stealing Christmas from us uh, and righteous retribution is delivered to them. Enjoy it. I guess I guess that that's the the one part of and you're right. I mean, uh, the narrative is is fantastic. It's perfect. Um, uh, it, it's just like a. <laughs> um, uh, it reminds me of when people see me do the knife roulette routine and they say, so, uh, so like you, you're just watching the wobble and you could kind of tell uh, from the weight which one uh, uh, the, the, the knife is under. And it's like, I mean, that impulse is fine, except for it has literally anything left to chance. <laughs> and and uh, uh, a good magic trick leaves absolutely nothing to chance. And so... Um, you know, uh, 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 theoretically, he could make a hundred of these and find out the most highly targeted uh, uh, crime areas and hope that 10 of them get stolen. And of those 10, uh, uh, the gizmo works flawlessly half the time. And of those five shots, 
you get good reactions from <laughs> one of them. Uh, all of that is possible. Um, the only problem is it leaves literally anything to chance, and that's that's not how I would do it. Let me put it that way. So are you saying that you're releasing your glitter bomb video next? No, week? dude. What I'm saying is is I'm I'm gonna well, uh, to, publicly to... pledge fealty to be a vassal under under Mark Rober's empire. I would, I would... That dude, everything he touches is gold. I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> no, it's great. I... <laughs> it's glitter gold. It's, yeah. 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 It's gilded. Though I've heard not that all not everything that glitters is gold, Bonnie. So. Oh, okay. Even now, shooting stars break the mold. I think um I think what what people are saying is it doesn't matter so if it is true. Glitter bomb. Deep cut. Sorry, go ahead. Bob oh. Dylan performed at the Grammys. Go on. Uh, it doesn't matter if it is true. We want it to be true, and that's the important thing. Yeah, but, right? but again, but again, it's like it's a glamour of it. I mean, I, it's like calling wrestling fake. It's like uh, exactly. Uh, you know, or, 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 uh, it's not fake. Fake is the wrong word. Well, and that's the thing is like, and maybe we are kind of the internet is laying bare some things that. Everybody who enjoyed this kind of shit sort of already knew, but nobody really needed to talk about because mm -hmm. nobody wanted to have the conversation with people who didn't give a fuck. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just there for fun. You want to buy in. Like, like Magic fans want to be there because they want to believe in that moment that this shit is real. And then afterward, they might have curiosity that how it's done. But there are way more magic fans than there are magicians. Why is that? Because there's more people that want to buy in for that moment. And it's not because they're dumb, not because they're stupid, not because they want to believe that there is a real messiah who happened to all know the same tricks that involve coins being produced or your card being found, but because they like that moment. They like that moment where they believe that this is possible. They want to give themselves to it. In the same way that we want to watch this and understand that Every time that the real version of this, which is not fun, in fact, it is like heartbreaking that mm -hmm. somebody would spend time, money, and effort to get a package to somebody for Christmas, and then some fucker would steal it, could get hilarious, righteous retribution. That's home alone. Like that's, <laughs> that, that's, that, that, that is the like canonical, like crowd pleasing thing. Yeah. So uh, uh, follow me on this journey here. I, I want to take us in a different place and make a recommendation to everyone. Uh, a bunch of people with the glitter are making Rip Taylor jokes and uh, Rip Taylor. I, I mistook out of the corner of my eye as R.I.P., which made me think of Penny Marshall, who passed mm. away. Uh, and uh, she, uh, uh, of course, you know, from Laverne and Shirley and also director mm -hmm. of Big, um, cannot recommend enough. Go find the two or three episodes of Smodcast that she did with Kevin Great. Smith. Great episodes. Uh, it's, it's, it's authentic stories of how she made it in Hollywood, how she uh, got ahead, what op opportunities she seized, what, what avenues she perceived their work to grow how she became a director and uh, uh, the choices that she made along the way um, you know like the, the little things mm -hmm. stick with me uh, remember that scene in big after he you know becomes full-size Tom Hanks goes to the city and it's very scary after his friend leaves and you hear somebody you know shouting in Spanish uh, on the phone banging on the, the wall uh, originally they were telling somebody to say something about a drug deal or whatever and it's like, uh, well, if it's in Spanish, why does it have to be that dark? Why, why can't he be just shouting about how he loves the girl or, or whatever? And so in Spanish, he's saying, you know, he's he's you know, he's clearly fired up and angry, but he, but he's but he's saying, you know, like, ah, so I love you, and why 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 can't you know? They're they're having a lovers quarrel, and it's like, it's those little uh, nudges that make it such a sweet show in yeah. in a million different ways. Um, uh, what, what an amazing talent. More well, women not, directors. Not to mention, uh, <laughs> to me, my favorite film of hers is A League of Their Own, and I think it is one of those few movies that have aged well. Mm. You know, like we have a lot of movies that we talk about that age poorly. 
League of Their Own ages really, 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 really well, and and specifically in our modern age of kind of coming to real life understandings about gender differences and 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 culture clashes. Like this is about uh, a guy, a, a baseball manager who has to manage or is now managing a female baseball league, right? And the famous scene in that is, of course, that there's no crying in baseball where he's like, on one hand, like that's that's everything you need to know about like the every fight on the Internet about like gender. Right. It is a guy saying all I've ever known is this and a woman exhibiting vulnerability and then ultimately realizing like, OK, I need to toughen up for this moment like and and it's not about that that's a universal truth. It's about that that is a truth about that, like, moment in time. And, and right. I think that that's something that we can really, really take from. Penny Marshall was a fantastic director. And, and for, for every moment that we talk about, oh, we need more representation, I think we need to also look at the DNA of the people that made it. Mm -hmm. Like, and say, like, all right, well, then, like, what was she doing? Like, how did, before we were screaming and yelling that we need a female director for X, Y, and Z, and I do think we need those. Mm -hmm. Like, let's look at the ones that were crushing it. Mm -hmm. Like, Penny Marshall is a genius. Penny Marshall was not only a, a gigantic comedic actress in, in Laverne and Shirley, but then became somebody who crafted her own stories and, and directed some of the most iconic tales of her era. Uh, it is a shame that she is dead as early as she is at, at, at 75, because I think she had at least another decade and goddamn, considering what we've seen now, it would have been a, a very vital decade for him to, for, or sorry, for her to be a, a tremendous voice in our, in our entertainment landscape. I, I only just, just saw right before I walked in here that she had passed. Like what, what was the thing? Like um, um, she died of the old, I, I believe she had lung cancer. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, which had mis metastasized. Mm -hmm. uh, if this Wikipedia article uh, is anything to go off of. Mm. Okay. Uh, people are saying complications from diabetes too. Look, she oh, had okay. she had some health problems. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I'll tell you what, if uh, uh, talent made you healthier, she'd live to 150 because uh, uh, that shit is the truth. Mm -hmm. She fucking is somebody that man i mean like at, like because also how few comedic directors are there like specifically of the like like crowd pleasing variety <laughs> <laughs> i know what you mean though i mean i i remember religiously watching her uh laverne and shirley and i would say that she um was a formative uh like she Actress. was part of my, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Like she was part of my DNA watching her and, and seeing when there's so many shows that are about men, this was primarily a, a female uh, stories that were being told. And so, you know, I, I also liked uh, bosom buddies and all those things. So I watched. Sure. I watched uh, man, a lot of I'll, I'll tell you what, Bonnie, but, uh, like, I, I don't think I've ever oh my insisted God. that you <laughs> Watch, uh, 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 what did I miss? <laughs> oh, you got to see this. This is oh amazing, my isn't it? Oh. I told her. I, I took that picture. I said, oh, oh, I said, oh my God. Penny, this is a, I go, you have to do a Christmas album just so we can put this on the top, <laughs> you know, on the, on the, on the record. Oh, that's fantastic. That was, uh, Ren Igu made that or posted Well that. done, oh, Ren that's Igu. amazing. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't, uh, by, by, the, by the way, there may or may not be among the tracks that will come to patrons uh, uh one about uh, uh uh bonnie brushwood's love of joan jett on the new album uh <laughs> like spoiler alert you gave birth to that sass <laughs> oh, the, 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 the assassin in yeah. penny you gave, you gave birth to that joan jett sass and it is on display right there yeah uh yeah, Bonnie, I, I, I don't think I've ever said these words to you, but I insist you listen to those Smodcast episodes because I think you'll absolutely adore that interview. Yeah, it's it's very relaxed and in-depth. And, you know, Kevin Smith is, is a great interviewer in that he really 
plays support and gets people to, um, you know, what what Howard Stern is able to pull out of people through intimidation, uh, Kevin Smith is able to do uh, out of just sheer, you know, buoyant support uh, for, for them. And, and uh, uh, Penny really shines in those things. Oh, that's well, nice. and also I think that, that, that part of it is, yeah, I mean, like Howard Stern does what he does because he gets people up at five o'clock in the morning and they have one cup of coffee and then he starts asking them whether or not they've ever butt fucked. Yeah. Right. Like that's that that is that is part of like why he is who he is. Kevin Smith is great in the same way that he's a good director where he just lets very talented people be funny, talented and honest. And he gives them those openings and like removes the barriers that would inhibit it. And man, those those Penny Marshall interviews. I mean, like, there's so little that Penny Marshall has done that I don't love. Even her, like, right. she did she did cameos on Portlandia that are fucking hilarious. <laughs> did you ever see? Oh my God, this is a weird thing to. I I don't know that. Here's here's a a find that you might be able to find somewhere on YouTube. I'd be thrilled if it existed. But shortly after the Blair Witch Project came out. There was a whole slew of parodies that people were doing. And somebody did, and I saw it on the show with no name on, on oh, Austin yeah. Cable Access, but somebody did the Penny Marshall Project. And the idea was that after I the success of the Blair Witch Project, Penny Marshall, Akira Kurosawa, and Francis <laughs> Ford Coppola decided <laughs> that if a bunch of nobodies could make that kind of money <laughs> they could just grab a camera and go to the woods <laughs> oh wait i think with oh please tell me about it he I'm, found I'm, it let me, yeah. oh my god let, let it's me make sure so is... great uh, uh, uh and, and by the way I, I have i feel like i've seen this and i feel like it's literally just an excuse to do accents <laughs> considering yeah, yeah. like the directors that they think like i i the one thing i remember is francis ford coppola say like bada bing bada boom we get millions of dollars no it's good it's good <laughs> well, let's go hey I, get, I gotta get my pack let's make a movie hey oh. Well, she'll be fine, okay? She'll be fine. What, what was that? She was asking me some technical filmmaking You questions. said she'll be fine. Talking about the camera. Talking about me. No. <laughs> These piles of stones. <laughs> you should take the first shot here. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. No, this is perfect. This is the perfect place to start. Trust the god. Great. You lay down. <laughs> what? You want me to lay down just on the rock on the on the That's good. Yeah. That's what I want. Okay, sit down. Well, um, here's the thing, and uh, I think that we we went over this when we no, talked Francis, on the phone. Wait, I, I, I don't need My name is Penny. I, I my name is Penny. One. Francis. Go through me it's my Francis. it's my movie. It's my I could you cut this? Cut. Cut the tree. Cut the tree. Who wants to cut the tree? It's not our tree to cut. Again? 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 So good. It's uh, later on. Later I, on, it is such a deep cut, too, right? <laughs> deep and that cut. is that is such a '90s <laughs> kind of like joke to make because that was like at the beginning of the point that like there was a, 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 a expanding universe of film nerds who would get jokes about like Penny Marshall and Akira Kurosawa and uh, uh, Coppola. Well, and uh, later when everything goes crazy at some point, uh, Kira Kurosawa is the first to, to fall. It's like he's just screaming Japanese with a samurai sword and full samurai regalia. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, down it goes from there. But, uh, um, man, that's so adorable even to see the earnest uh, affection with which uh, that comedian is, is portraying, you know, yeah. Penny Marshall and everything. It's a, it's a, what, a, what a character. Mm <laughs> hmm and really, I mean, like, uh, as as a as an actor, she was really defined by her confidence. Like that was kind of like the the the, the thing about her was that she was kind of like unafraid, even when she was unafraid to be stupid. You know, well, it, it was. 
and again, this is something that comes up in that Smodcast interview. She talks about how, you know, that iconic uh, uh, Shlemiel, Shlemazel uh, mm -hmm. uh, opening. Um, it's a bad person. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a childhood nonsense thing that she used to say. She brought that to the oh. table. They're like, we have to shoot an opening credits thing. And, you know, what are, you know, what are we going to do? Like, she was the one. She, she's a nobody actress, you know, who, who, who has this role. So she's this taking role. responsibility Right, she's just like, oh, tone. well, this would be a fun thing. And how about yeah. this? And, you know, so all of a sudden she's, you know, providing this content. And it becomes this iconic opening to the, oh, to the whole yeah. thing. It, it's, uh, yeah, uh, a really, really special person. And also, uh, uh, Lisa Lisa J points out, don't be jealous of the rocks that she's got. She's still Penny, Penny from the Bronx. Uh, well, one of the best Bronx accents in in show business of all time is uh, Penny Marshall. Oh, man. So what else? Ha uh, what else happened this week? Oh, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I had a, I had a. You covered it all. Glitter bombs. Yeah. Do you guys? Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, you hold know? on. So, so uh, 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 Callie had a party. And oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kelly had a party, got a bunch of gifts, had a bunch of snowball fights. It was great. Uh, we did the same thing that we did for Josie like four or five years ago. We we made the minimum order from uh, commercial uh, ice company Quick Ice. Any uh, any guesses on what the minimum order in pounds of ice from Quick Ice is? So this is one of them companies that just dumps a bunch of shit in your lawn. Uh, well, I mean, they provide for, you know, bars and commercial establishments. Minimum okay. order. Uh, we've got 200 pounds, 500 pounds. We have 100 pounds. Uh, 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 I, I would probably say 200. 200 pounds. pounds. All right. Juice. I'd say I'd say 700 pounds. 700 pounds. Minimum order. From Quick Ice in Austin, Texas. Because you've done this before. 1,500 pounds of ice. <laughs> Good God. Uh, costing ridiculous. $300. Less than oh, a magician. Yeah. Uh, hey, man, no. Less you than and your money. You're mom. making it. You yeah. made that comparison. No, 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 no. Brian's, <laughs> it's like, Brian's like, hey, we're out of kids. We can give up the secrets now. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> well, plus also, like, that that's a reasonable expense for, uh, you know, in a world where a, a kid show magician is okay, $450. It was definitely, I, my first stop was to hire Elsa to come out. What? And and do Elsa, like, hello. I'm like. She's you know, already met the real Elsa. She's met. She went and met Elsa at Disney, and like you can't yeah. top that. So I kind of looked into that. I'm like, yeah, but maybe the other kids. I go, like, oh, yeah, but there's boys in the class too, and and they'll definitely hate that. <laughs> so, yeah. so anyways, it was definitely cheaper than than doing Elsa. And kindergarten is when you have to get in there with the good party. Because oh, that's when you build the reputation, huh? Yeah, you're building a reputation. It's worth, you know. Oh, kind of and also, in. like, she has an in-school year birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Bruce. Yeah. So, so, I, uh, so uh, the star of the show. So we, uh, we got up <laughs> at the crack of dawn and started using the snow cone machine to to make uh, uh, snow. We mm -hmm. basically, you know. A big pile of ice, like, hey, kids, you can sled on this ice because uh, it's in a, l a little hill. Uh, and then uh, uh, we, we made snow cone ice. But the star of the show is these, these little, I don't know, tongs that make uh, uh, perfect round snowballs. So uh, we threw a bunch of those, and all the kids uh, pelted each other with snow bads, uh, snowballs. It was great. Uh, in fact, I just sent a picture to, to you, Bryce. Yeah, there you go. Uh, oh. Right? So, uh, but she got a bunch of gifts, <laughs> and uh, uh, how did it go down with the uh, uh, the bath bomb? Oh, the bath bomb! Right, that's the one. Yeah, oh. that that's what I was trying to get into. Oh. Because because yeah, what did she funny. say that? So she just walks over. I'll pantomime for you here. She just walks over and she gets like a glass, and then she goes up to the refrigerator and she like. Shh. It takes forever, right? And to so fill up like, with water. Shh. And then, then she sits down. Futs with uh, whatever yeah, gifts. Yeah, and then she's working with it, and then she like puts it in there. And then she's putting her hands in it. And then my friend, she just looks over. She, it, we have like uh, one friend with, or, or like, you know, a couple and their kids that stay, stay over a little longer. She goes, 
hey, uh, Kelly, what you doing over there? Which I thought was totally adorable because me, I was like, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but like, she goes, hey, what you doing over there? And she's like, it's a bath bomb. But you know that because <laughs> she made a little bath for her hands yeah. and then put the entire bath bomb uh, in. And God. you're like, well, she enjoyed it so much. She did it again twenty minutes later yeah, with the other bath like, bomb. Wait. She goes, "Well, why are you doing that?" <laughs> you know, I just kind of like you know, because it's a bath bomb, and, and and not like not like totally judgmental. I felt a little bit like why. Why are you wasting it? It's for your bath, you know. Let me do my Penny Marshall. But yeah. then uh, uh, she's she just like, "There's a toy inside." <laughs> <laughs> so Means to an like, end, lady. Right. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, <laughs> would, does that make a mess? Uh, no, no, no. It, I mean, it, she's, uh, she is my third child, and as a, um, uh, I either I hear that third third children either just like give up, and they just sit, and they're just like I, uh, you know, I can't even, I can't yeah. even. They're either I can't even, or they're really capable, and like, uh, Callie is really capable, and she's like physically aware because like. In order not to get run over by the other two bigger kids, you have to like be on your guard at all times physically. So, so she she has like like whenever we do a sports thing, they're like, "Wow, she's really gifted sports wise." And then you, I take her like, to you it. You can't have her. Yeah, get out of I'm here. like, uh, you know. And then uh, the you know she went and did like a drum a drum camp, and they're like, "Oh wow, she's really aware and can like really drum and stuff." And I'm like, uh, you know. No, that, that 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 is definitely something that I, I I picked up on fairly early with Kelly is that like she is like even like spatially both like in terms of her her sisters and like in conversation aware of like how to make her opinion kind of known yeah. in a way <laughs> that, that both like Josie and Penny Penny was always scattershot she would yeah. just kind of yell right. Uh, 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 Josie was, uh, you know, a little bit more, like, you know, studied in it. She she wanted to like be like aware of like whether or not people were understanding like what she was saying. Mm -hmm. But Callie is like, she gets both of them. Like she's <laughs> studying them, like yeah. a like a, like a predator. <laughs> yeah, <And it's> like, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They both of their moves, and it's like mm, you didn't get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm gonna get it right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's funny totally. because I, I I don't fear judgment from Penny, uh, and I don't fear judgment from Josie. No, I'm sure they'll both judge me, but I don't think it'll affect me because right. uh, I'll have reasons why I shouldn't be affected. I think I deeply fear judgment from <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> like when she judges me, she will be correct. Yeah. You know, and you're just gonna be ten years older. You know. Oh, I know. Oh man, oh, my God. that's gonna be hey, rough. Hey, think about this, uh, Penny. <laughs> wow, uh, there's no one setting everything up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Think about that. We just mm -hmm. had Penny on the show for the you know first time live. Um, uh, four years, she's gonna be living on her own. Four years. Right. That's wow. pretty crazy. Oh, right. Shit. It, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh, can, can we sponsor the shit gets real? <laughs> 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 this shit gets real moment brought to you by uh, MeUndies. Uh, you'll need a new pair now. <laughs> so we'll be next year. All right, no, in just a couple of months. In less uh, in of a couple time of months. that Night Attack has been around, she will not live with us anymore. Uh, and she's going to be driving within the year. Yeah, uh, d uh, to be honest, yeah. Yeah. Should be driving within the year. Uh, Ooh, what, what, what's the first car? What's the first car? She wants what's to drive my car? van for some reason. Like, I guess it's just. Oh, no, God, no. You can't. Why? Because that's like all my. Listen, grew up a nerd. That oh, was yeah. always the nerd mobile. You always needed the person with the big high occupancy vehicle. <laughs> so you could all get from point A to point B. Okay. It's got to be something small. Like, 
In fact, if, if, don't if, say if, if, don't if you they say made it. like minis, you want minis. Oh, okay. You want literally one person and another person, and that's it. Like a two seater bunch Jeep. of teenagers <laughs> fucking around <laughs> throwing shit. <laughs> Uh, no, like my 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 first car was a um, a Ford pickup that was jacked up, and it had glass packs that were all blown wait, out. Sorry, so glass packs. What what is that? Uh, some people in the chat will know. It's okay, Brian, that you're a city boy. Yeah, you don't get this oh, stuff. Oh shit! You know? yeah, it's just like is that a hillbilly Brian. heroin <laughs> brain? What's going on? Girl, shit going on right now. Yeah. It's okay, Brian. Hmm. No, don't worry about it. It's a car but, thing. Yeah. But, like, I was riding home from school right after. I mean, it was, like, pretty soon after I had gotten my car and I was driving home. And then, like, it's a bumpy ride, right? Like, I lived out in the country and it was, it had a, like. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just, I'm just getting because I'm literally, like, the biggest fucking pampered fucking city asshole ever. <laughs> like. I have no idea what, what, what you were talking about. It was just some shit to make your muffler loud? Yeah. <laughs> See, the, uh, let me explain it this way, Justin. The whistles go, woo! There we go. Yeah. Oh, this is like my car! Those glass packs I got. It's been about, I don't know, around a month and a half. Wow. Here we go. Uh, oh, I also got 35-inch uh, Wrangler MTRs from a buddy, so. Man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Head, headphone users. Yeah, here we go. Headphone. All right, this, this, no this, this is this is this is Bonnie rolling around at fucking uh, uh, sixteen. Man, I, I I feel like Bonnie's getting physically aroused. Look at her; Ooh. she's taking her clothes <laughs> off. <laughs> she's getting Listen physically that. aroused. That. <laughs> that kitty oh, purr. I'll bet. Goddamn. Too young for hot flashes, Bonnie. I know what's going on. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. That's the sound of panties dropping. <laughs> oh, no. No. Look at him. He's got this little swagger going on. In the video. Oh, whoa, whoa. Now you're even checking him out. Well, no, sorry. I'm just saying. It's mm. just you can't help me when you got the truck and you just. Anyways. <laughs> uh, no, I had a. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe uh, there's a side plot on that slash fiction they're writing right now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody rolls up with the glass backs. <laughs> Uh, listen, all, all I know is that Bonnie, what Bonnie just exhibited to you right now is that one person in this marriage got their midlife crisis car. <laughs> oh, she's already flat out told me. She's flat out. We've had that conversation. She's just like, can't wait to get rid of this van. Can't wait to get just a big old dumb truck. I was like, I missed my truck. It was like, it was like. Glass packs, baby. Glass packs. <laughs> yeah. And then having it like raised up is really stupid. Like what point? But no, I really no, want just, that. It's like a gigantic <laughs> F-150 sitting on That's what fucking I had. It was an F-150. Like, fucking, like, like, like a goddamn big and rich video. <laughs> yeah, get, get, a, get one so big it has to have the, like little stairs unroll when you stop. <laughs> Stairs are for pussies. You know well, I was thinking about your kids. Oh, maybe yeah. Yeah. Getting into oh, no. They're going to learn how to jump up in that car like I did. You know? <laughs> you just get I don't know, though, man. I think you can make a case for it's like you roll up, and then like the Millennium Falcon, just this 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 drawbridge comes on down. <laughs> you walk on up. It releases CO2. <laughs> but Well, if it's a big truck, it's got to be diesel. Yeah, diesel. Uh, you you, you want those bad. giant pipes with a button so you can roll coal and and <laughs> say like fuck the planet? No, no. Get but one of those trucks that are just the right height where the the fucking headlights beam directly into my rear view oh, mirror. Oh, no, that'd be great. That I hate that shit. That'd be great. I hate that. Get those that. KC daylighters all across the yeah. top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, some bull horns on front. You know what? Yeah, I'll tell you what. You could do that. Uh, uh, but yeah. as retribution, I will put the mean eyes uh, <laughs> grill on my Jeep so that we can be 100% unified douchebag. Have you guys seen this mean oh, eyes uh, no. Jeep thing? Yeah, type in that mean I'm eyes doing Jeep. It. That's, a, that's a whole. Uh, that's a, and also, uh, by the way, these are cute. Oh, that's you were the first one to get the dream car. Oh, I yeah. know. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Look at that. That's cute. Oh, that's cute, that's Brian. That's adorable. Uh, okay. Look well, at you. You're not. You're. You got snarky eyes, not mean eyes. They're snarky. So, K 
can I? Oh, yeah. Totally deflated good, when we call it cute. Good, uh, good, good question. Uh, what song will the horn play, Bonnie? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I gotta finish talking about my truck. My truck. <laughs> no, so, so you jump up into this blue faded truck that is like all the paints coming off and everything, uh-huh. and then. And you get in there and you're like, oh, I got to spit out my gum. Where do I put my gum? Well, maybe in the bull scrotum that is the trash can. <laughs> like, Sorry? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> bull like scrotum. A, yeah, the bull scrotum. Now, the, I, now those I are the original <laughs> truck nuts. I know I know that the, the, the oh, brush. Wow. Oh, no, you got one. Oh, that's like a that's kangaroo. kangaroo nuts. That's a kangaroo. Kangaroo that? scrot. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that's real! Oh my god, that's awful. Why that is a real that? kangaroo screwed. <laughs> <laughs> that was sent to me uh, uh, by Scale, hey, I believe, in, in the chat. But mm. it, it says here one genuine kangaroo scrotum leather bag. Hey, yeah. Justin, how many bits would it take for you to lick that? <laughs> How many beds? So let's see. Oh, let's oh. pretend like it'll oh, be a lot. I think it would have to be 1,000 bits. Ah, Whoa! that's so many bits. So oh, God, low. That's crazy. <laughs> so <many bits. laughs> ah, well, luckily, nobody has that many bits. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. Where would 1,000 bits come from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's 300. There's oh, 300. No, no, no. That's only 300. That will never be 1,000. <laughs> you uh, people <laughs> would never <laughs> throw 1,000 <laughs> bits for me. No, oh, okay. Well, that happened a lot. Zizak. <laughs> Zizak and Bad Weave both. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, Justin licks kangaroo nuts. Justin licks kangaroo nuts. And he's a goddamn hero for it. Yes. For charity. It was for charity. It <laughs> Quite literally. That's right. They did Quite go to literally. charity. Hey, $205,000 raised for direct relief. You're Using welcome, hashtag. direct Aww. relief. Have you ever derailed a train with your penis? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I haven't stopped talking about my truck yet. Okay. All right, no, all right. <laughs> let's hear it. Let's hear it. Body, no, body, no, exhibiting why uh, uh, we're bad. Uh, please continue to tell your story. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, there is a horn adapter. Uh, yeah, like there's something that you can tie into the horn, which you always think that your horn just makes one noise, but apparently it can make many sounds like music if you have like a little uh, uh, button pushing thing. <laughs> so, yeah, they're a keyboard, yes. Yeah, I had this little sure. keyboard. And so like much like your job, Bryce, over here pretty much the content. same thing okay Wh- how, yeah. whatever your job is bryce bonnie was able to do it <laughs> while driving <laughs> and putting her gum in bull testicles and bull scrot while I'm dropping panties with that grumbly rumbly <laughs> muffer <laughs> muffle sound <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then, I don't know, I think it so, All right, like, what, no, what, keep, what songs? Keep going. What, song, what songs, really? What songs do you have Brian, on your chart? you sound hostile. Like, no, 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 you don't no, no, no. I'm, I'm actually loving this. Now, I feel well, like you don't appreciate me being like, uh... What, what songs? Can we What's... get to the fucking point of the story? Get us, get us home, bud. Anyways, like Kukaracha. I like knew it. <laughs> I almost asked. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, yeah I, I figured that. it had to be Did like Kukaracha or, or like five the, op- the Dixie from uh, from, from uh, Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it did have that one too. What? Was, yeah. Yeah, the it, Yellow it Rose. Yeah. 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 But I um was popular. Jeff, so no private eyes? Yeah, hold on. What oh, would that sound like in because... horn format? <laughs> honk, honk, honk. Honk, 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 honk. Yeah. Honk, honk, honk. <laughs> honk, honk, <laughs> honk. <laughs> like, honk, honk. <laughs> See, well, you have to get the car doors to, to be automated so they cl- they slam for the claps. Click, clack. Dangerous, a dangerous I mean, at least machine. The door locks. Oh, the door oh, locks is probably safer. Oh, that would be no. There were no door Oops. locks. That was a reach over and you know, reach around you got it. Yeah, wow. and it had a gun rack on the back. But when I got it, we took the guns off mm. the back. What am I gonna do 
with a gun rack. I don't know. I it don't was just own there. a gun, let yeah. alone many guns necessitating an entire rack. <laughs> but we used to Wayne take it World, out. 1997. We used to take it out mudding. And then one time at a party, uh, we're like, oh, it's it's been raining and this is a dried out creek bed. So you can just go crazy out there and just drive it and you won't run into anything. And then like, oh, my God, that scene from I, Tanya or I'm Tanya or what? Was I'm Tanya. I am Tanya. Yeah, that was that was me in high school. Just like Wah! whatever. And Mudden. then. It, oh my god, it was so much fun until we realized that a dried out creek bed is not, or it was like a, a lake bed or whatever. It it never really dries out, and there's like a a bunch of clay that's mm. wet. And wait, is this is this Sunshine Clay's origin story? Maybe like, it was this radioactive clay. control clay. Now. It may be now. Like I, is I this where can... you understood your supernatural ability to control <laughs> clay? The, this yeah. is when she became the mud whisperer. <laughs> the mud whisperer. Is this when you became the Moana of clay? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Mudwana. So we're driving, and then no. <laughs> it just stops, like I ran into a brick wall. Ooh. And the guy who was also in crutches that was in the back of the car. In the bed? Back in the bed was yeah. like, woohoo, ah. And yeah. Because <laughs> it just went, stopped. At least and you then, had those crutches already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. And it totally killed the engine and everything. I was like, oh, I just Ooh. killed my car. or you know. So y'all were like stuck? Yeah, we so were really sick. We that's had when, get... That's when she finally hit the third horn. Bum, bum, ba, da, <laughs> <laughs> that might have been in there. I don't know. <laughs> but then the next day, I was like, I just had to leave it there. And we didn't know how we were going to get out or explain to my parents that my car didn't come home with me because we're lying about it all. And then finally, I was like, "Oh, mom, I'm gonna spend the night at my friend's house and mm. and not have my car." And then we 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 went out there the next day and had to have our friend's tractor pull it out. And so, like, oh, the sure. dad is Holy involved. Shit. That, I, they I had to pull thinking, it out. The with only the way this could get better is with a tractor pull. <laughs> <laughs> And then, there's, like, like, and then Truckosaurus showed up. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> and then was... Grave Digger. <laughs> Thank goodness we only have these edges. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't help but think my Sunday, dad was. Sunday, Sunday. Bonnie's car stuck in mudding, hitting clay, dragged out by Bigfoot. And the Undertaker. <laughs> uh, special appearance from the Power Team. Learn about the messages of Christ through. <laughs> the one kid in the back on crutches. <laughs> he will walk. <laughs> oh my god! No. Anyways, did you get found out? I don't know. They must have been really absent. All your parents right now. We're gonna find <laughs> out. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh god! No, they are not that type of parents. <laughs> she did pull up her phone though. So yeah, I did pull up the phone. No, too late. They would be really worried if I called. But, like, I had to, I, I, like, pulled it over and I had to clean it off because it had, like, mud. I mean, I up in the wheel well, I was scooping out, like, talk about clay. It was probably about the amount that I buy now, like, 25 pounds of clay stuck up in the wow. real well. And then I didn't know what to do with it. So it was just laying in the grass for a long time. And nobody ever asked me about that. Like, <laughs> I, I sprayed it down with a hose a little bit to try to make it go away. Yeah, like, my not... secret shame of, like, lying to you and my car almost died and I almost mm -hmm. lost it in a mud pit. But nobody asked. So they were yeah, just like, uh, now, now, you that, know. now that you are a, a grown-up uh, and parent of a teenager, um, yeah, are you pretty sure your parents just knew all of this shit and were not fooled by any of it? Like, like you yeah. and your brother, you and your brother gave uh, back before mm -hmm. it was the hot new legalized thing, a, a, a walking stick to your dad covered in pot leaves, and you were still giggling about it when we were dating in college. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, are you telling me you, you uh, you've never discussed it? But 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 uh, your dad knew what was up, right? I mean, no, no, like those leaves. If somebody handed me a bunch of 
random ass leaves from the forest and then a bunch of pot leaves. Like, despite the like, like the only thing that would make me know that it was pot leaves is that I've seen a lot of High Times magazines. Right. But, <laughs> With but, but, benefit but, of High Times magazines. I don't know that I would immediately know the difference. Okay, but but yeah. imagine your two teenage kids came back from a festival or a concert or some <laughs> shit, and they and they're giggling, saying, "Dad, we got you. We I know you collect Brian's walking like really sticks." Really mad at me? Like, are you mad at me? You're all bust my balls. No, now. no, 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 no. I, 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 I like. I mean, I, I, I'm actually, I'm, I am developing an increased appreciation for for your parents. Uh, 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 patience <laughs> uh, like like um, well here let me let me let me let, let, uh, here, yeah. here, th- 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 this is what i'll say i think it is way more likely that they saw a gigantic block of clay in the lawn and knew what well, like went on than mm. them getting a fucking walking stick with a bunch of leaves on it uh and knew what was going on they still they still have that walking stick <laughs> prominently <laughs> featured in their in the foyer of their of their <laughs> yeah, new that's house true. I I don't know if you, like I, I would say you would have a passing chance to pass by me right now a mm-hmm. pot smoker for you know years right <laughs> a pot leaf as like uh, disguised as if you said oh no this is the uh, 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 soup, uh, mama, mama from uh, the redwood forest. I would be like, oh, cool, that's a leaf. Wait, but we're not talking about the actual leaf. We're talking about a a, a walking stick in the the Rastafarian color scheme. You know, looking like it. It. it you would expect, um, uh, you know, Bob Marley to be using it. Uh, covered in <laughs> in the cartoon version oh, yeah, oh, of pot leaves, oh, drawn with pot leaves on it. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know what the fuck that I mean. Like, like you just said with pot leaves on it. Right, right, uh, right, right. Yeah. No, decorated with with cartoon pot leaves all, all over it. Uh, and and I know that at the time, both you and your brother seemed to think that that you know, tee he doesn't know. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking they knew. Yeah, they probably <laughs> I'm knew. Thinking they knew. Yeah, but then when you hear my dad's stories from high school, you're like. Oh wait, what do you mean? Are they all tame? No. Oh. They're not tame. No. They used to smoke crack, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean they were I mean, he was so he was so pissed off because he fucking raised such pussy. <laughs> <laughs> all they're doing is smoking weed. We were smoking crack. Yeah. Uh... Oh shit. Okay, that's all. Uh, all, right. all about my family for tonight. Good yeah. night. All right. <laughs> Good night, Bob. XOXO. Uh, man, I guess I guess it is. It's midnight, huh? Oh, gee, it's really Good late. Good times, man. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Well, thank you everybody for checking this out. Uh, I guess we'll have to figure out when we're gonna do the other night attack, but you may see that at some point. Who knows? Uh, it'll definitely come out at least next week. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, we love you guys. Have uh, uh, have a happy Christmas. Probably be this weekend, right? What's up? Would it be this weekend? Hmm. What's up? That we do our pre-record? Yeah. The the, the, the pre-record for Night Attack. What is your... I mean, I guess we can reconnect later, but Hmm. is there a day that is better for your sketch? Uh, I've got a show. I got got to go up to Dallas. I'm flying Sunday, so Hmm. unless you guys can do it, sans me. Uh, we probably can if we if we keep it lo-fi. Oh. Maybe just audio only. Mm. Well done. All right. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Uh, wait, 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 wait. All right. We'll, 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 we'll figure it out. Bye, 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 bye. 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 bye.